A big hello to everyone from my new office, uh, my dining room table. Um, what I really wanted to do is I wanted just to acknowledge the unprecedented times that we find ourselves in, an unpredictable time. I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to check in with you and to really share my thoughts on what we're doing with RISE. But probably what I really want to emphasise is that now just reminds us more than ever why we need to prioritise the health, the well-being and the access to critical water services um, for the most vulnerable the billion people on the planet that don't have these basic services at a time like um, like now, and and why this is why the mission of Rise is so critical, not least at this time, but just critical in general. It is really unfortunate that, like many other global challenges, COVID nineteen is going to be felt most acutely by the most vulnerable people they will be hit hardest by this pandemic. And there's over a billion people living in informal settlements today around the world that don't have access to basic clean water. What this means is that there's a billion people on the planet that cannot take the simple life-saving steps of washing their hands to protect not just themselves, their families and their communities from COVID-19. As we see the exponential spread of COVID-19, that hasn't peaked yet in many places. Now more than ever, we need to understand how we can rapidly improve water and sanitation for informal settlements so we can save lives. Research is vital at times like these. It's vital for the evidence. It's vital for developing really practical solutions and it's vital for the rapid scaling and translation of much needed solutions. And RISE is vital to generating this type of evidence to safeguard our communities. What I want to reassure everyone is that during this time, RISE, we are not shutting down, but we are making changes. There are some important activities that we have to suspend, but we are going to continue to deliver other parts of our program. But RISE will be delayed. We've put in place a four point research continuity strategy to keep our program on track, to navigate us in this uncertain time. And I just want to apprise you all of our four points, our four point research continuity strategy. Okay, point one. As a first priority, we're protecting the health and wellbeing of all our staff, in particular, our in-country staff in Fiji and Makassar, and as much as we possibly can, our informal settlement communities. This is our number one priority. We are drastically reducing physical contact amongst our staff, with each other, and with informal settlement communities taking part in RISE. Point number two, we, we have put in place protection measures and preservation measures for all our research data and samples to date. We have secured and safely locked down all of our samples that are already collected from communities. They remain secure at our laboratories at the Fiji National University and Hasanudin University in Makassar, which both universities have now closed down. Point number three, we've stopped all in-field activities to stop physical contact between people. This includes, we've stopped the construction of our demonstration sites, we've stopped the infrastructure co-design workshops with communities, the collecting of samples, and the conduct of face-to-face -face survey with residents. What we have done, we've been in contact with every member of our communities and our informal settlements, as well as provided information flyers to every household taking part in RISE in Fiji and Indonesia. We've reassured all our communities that we're not shutting down completely, and we will continue to keep them informed and engaged as the situation changes. Point number four, we're developing a new plan of action for the upcoming months. While we refocus our operations away from the field, we are solely concentrating on what we can do and what we will do to pivot our research operations in a COVID-19 world. We're working this out 
and we're looking at what we can do to support our communities, to support our in-country partners and stakeholder networks, what we can do to provide us support and engage in addressing and the response to COVID-19. So these four points in an, is in a nutshell our research continuity strategy, our RISE continuity strategy. The aim of our continuity strategy is to maintain our purpose, our mission, and to maintain hope and the trust that we have painstakingly built with our incredible communities and in-country staff. We know that our research program is now fundamentally changed forever, like other global programs like ours. We're looking at what it is that we can repurpose and we can do to help with the immediate crisis in country. We're continuing on with the research that we can, what we can do digitally, what we can analyze, and what we can do that doesn't require physical face-to-face -face contact at this time. I just want to shout out to all the staff, research students, all our partners, stakeholders and supporters of RISE. We really appreciate your support at this time. We've been inundated with goodwill, support. Many of our partners, our members of our scientific committee and our governance panels checking in with us to see how we're going and offering support and a hand. We really appreciate that and we'll keep you informed. This is just stage one of keeping you informed of where we're at and what we're, what we're doing at the moment. Um, once again, a big shout out to everyone. Thank you. And um, I hope you all take care. Look after yourselves. Be kind to your family and your friends and your colleagues. And um, we'll be in touch. Thank you.